Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lab with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna see two more functions available from the time dot header file. So, one is called diff time, which is used to get the difference between two times, and another one is called clock. The clock function returns a value that approximates the amount of time the calling program has been running. So we're gonna see that later. So first I'm gonna explain you about this diff time function. So as a parameter to this diff time function, we need to pass the times and this function is gonna return the difference in seconds. So here in this case, it's gonna return time two minus time one. So now we're gonna see you know how we can use this function in our program. So here just for the demonstration purpose, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out how much time our computer is gonna take to execute a for loop of counter let's say 50 lakh. So here for the demonstration purpose I'm gonna create a variable i and next we need um, variables of type time underscore t and uh, let's say our start comma end and uh, here first uh, we're gonna as in the start variable with the time with the current time so i'm gonna use, i'm gonna call the time function and pass the null parameter as a value so next we're gonna create a for loop which is gonna loop for 50 lakh times so it's gonna be i equal to zero i less than 50 lakh I plus plus okay that's it and uh, next after this loop we're gonna get the end time so it's gonna be end equal to the current time and also we're gonna pass a null value okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this diff time function and get the time difference in seconds between this end and start you know that's how we will come to know that you know uh, how much time our computer has taken to execute this for loop so I'm gonna write the printf function here and I'm gonna say the for loop took percentage of seconds and now I'm gonna call the diff time function so it's gonna be diff time and as a parameter we need to pass the end comma start because you know uh, this diff time function is gonna return time 2 minus time 1 that's why here it's gonna return end minus start that's the you know time taken by this for loop so I'm gonna save this execute compile and run so it says 0 seconds because you know my computer is pretty much faster so okay what we're gonna do is instead of this for loop we're gonna add a post to our program using the get yet function you know this get set function is gonna wait for us to enter any character in the keyboard and here we're gonna say the time difference was percentage of seconds okay so now what happens is you know uh, this get set function is gonna add a pose to our program and uh, you know when we enter some values from the keyboard you know our program will uh, find out the end time and then it's gonna compute end time minus start time and uh, print out the time taken so execute compile and run okay now it's waiting for us to enter any um, character from the keyboard so I'm gonna enter a character so it says um, the time difference was 12 seconds be because you know the the program was here you know for 12 seconds okay now we're gonna see you know how we can use the clock function so I'm gonna remove all these things and you know this clock function is not gonna take any arguments and it's gonna return the value that approximates the amount of time the calling program has been running so it means that for example let's say that we have a function called display and uh, we're calling that display function in this main function so this display function is gonna contain this clock function so when we use this clock function inside this display function 
is gonna return the time taken by this main function to reach the point or reach the code which has which calls this display function and also this clock function is gonna return a value of type clock underscore t so this clock underscore t is gonna contain the processor time in clock sticks so to get the time in seconds we need to divide this time by a constant which is defined in this time.h header file which is clocks per sec so it's going to be clocks per sec okay now uh, we're going to see you know how we can use this clock function so just for the demonstration purpose i'm going to create a function void display and it's not going to take any arguments and here we're just going to print out elapsed time was percentage u seconds okay now uh, here we need to use the clock function so it's gonna be clock no parameters and also we need to divide by clock per sec clocks per sec so I'm gonna copy that and paste it here that's it we got we need to call this uh, display function here in the main function okay now I'm gonna save it execute compile and run so it says elapsed time was zero seconds because you know uh, my computer is pretty much fast that's why what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a post to a program using the get ch and uh, if I compile and run this program now it is waiting for me to enter some characters okay now I'm gonna enter a character and it says elapsed time was 5 seconds that means that this main function to reach at this point took 5 seconds because you know we have added a pause here and uh, you know if I call this if I add another pause and call that display function again I'm gonna compile and run so now it is asking for me to enter a character because of this first get ch okay and that's it it says elapsed time was seven seconds because you know to reach to this point the computer has took seven seconds and uh, now it is waiting for us to enter another character I'm gonna enter it now so it says 21 seconds that means the program this main function took 21 seconds to reach to reach this point and call this function okay now finally the uses of this clock and if time function using the clock you can estimate the time taken by your program to call a function and also using the diff time function you can calculate the time taken by a block to execute or you know time taken by the entire program so this is it guys this is about the diff time and the clock function in C thank you guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and i'll see you in the next tutorial